And I'm excited to share with you week number three, gift number eight of my favorite gift making items for the holiday season of 2019. We're really getting, you know, in the flow of the countdown. So this week, this sounds kind of like a fa like an odd gift, but this is about patches because patches are a great solution solver for the embroiderer. Often the, there are so many different things we'd like to add embroidery to, but we can't. Either the item is too small or the design is too big to um, fit in a hoop or to hoop properly on a smaller item or it's something that's just impossible to hoop. So I have several samples to show you, but before we get started, I just wanna make sure you can hear me and that uh, our technology is working okay. So if you just give me a thumbs up or you know, throw a smiley face up, then we'll know that um, everything is working just fine. So I'll take a moment and check out the comments. Uh, hi, Judy, aloha, how are you? I guess you can hear us. Thanks for um, joining us today. So we're really excited to um, share with you. We have a product called the Patchmaker Kit, and it comes with 20 patch designs that are already digitized for you. And it has a heavy duty water soluble stabilizer. It's really heavy duty. Like you can see it's translucent, but it's not completely see-through. So it really has some body. And then we have a permanent fusible product that we call patch attach that you use to fuse the product, the patch to an item. So the first thing you're going to do is select your embroidery design and hoop the water soluble stabilizer in a four by four hoop. I like to use a four by four hoop possibly a five by seven if it's a bigger design, but I can do multiple patches in a four by four hoop without any um, issues. So I stitch my embroidery design and then I just remove it from the hoop and I pull it away from that water soluble stabilizer. Um, and then it's time to treat it with the patch attach. So the patch attach has a smooth, paper side, that's the protective paper. And then the adhesive side, it's kind of rough. So, you know, you can feel the difference. And what you would do is cut out a small piece of the patch um, attach. And I'll show you right here. So I'm just making a, cutting out a piece that's bigger than my queen patch, right? So here's my patch attach. This is the glue side and I'm putting my patch on it. Then I'll place that patch side down with the protective paper cover on top on a Teflon pressing sheet. And then I'll just fuse that together. So I'm giving firm pressure with my hand. I have a very hot, dry iron. I have it at the highest heat setting that I can on my household iron. And once that's in place, I let it cool and you do have to let it cool, otherwise it's kind of a hot mess. And you know, when you use your Teflon pressing sheet, be careful. You wanna make sure that you don't have any residue on the area where you're applying the patch or on the other side of the Teflon sheet, because often I forget about that and then there's some residue there. Now it makes my pressing surface kind of messy. So um, just take the time to scrape that off. I just use my fingernails and run it across and it works out pretty well. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull that apart and I can peel back that protective paper and you'll see you have some excess of that patch attach around the outside edges. I just take my scissors and trim as close to the patch as I can. Um, and if some of it is still sticking out, I literally just fold it over to the back because it's just excess glue, right? So it's we don't want it to extend beyond the patch because when we heat um, the iron, you know, when we place it on the base fabric, we wouldn't want any uh, shiny surface. So I just push it back onto the patch. And then I place that on my item that I'm going to hoop. And here I have some... Um, 
some patches that are already applied to this makeup bag. Well, it's, it's a makeup bag, but I use it for my sewing supplies. When I go to class, I put my scissors and pins in it and so forth. And um, it has, these are the patches that come with the patch attached. So it says, I like big hoops. So cool. And keep calm and hoop because isn't that good advice? That's what we're always worried about. We get it all planned on our software and our fabric and our thread and so forth. And then it's time to hoop. We often get worried about that. So I like that saying, keep calm and hoop. So now I'm going to place the patch right onto my makeup bag. And I would make sure that um, my placement was properly where I wanted it. Now on this bag, it actually has a vinyl inside it's you know it's waterproof so i would place a cotton terry cloth towel inside there while i apply the heat to the outside otherwise it will glue itself together so if you're using something that's a vinyl product on the inside make sure you take the time to stuff it so that it can't uh piece you know melt together and i'm not going to do that on camera right now i'll do another one so what else would we use it for well Sometimes you want to put a really big design on a small item like this little boy's onesie, which is super cute, but that would be very hard to hoop. I mean, we do have some great hooping products for onesies, but they really never talk about a design that's five inches tall. That's pretty big to, to actually hoop. But what I could do is stitch that on my water-soluble stabilizer that comes in the patch kit with all of those 20 designs and the patch attach. And then I would stitch it on the water soluble stabilizer, pull it out of the hoop, remove it, and then press my patch attach to the wrong side. Now this is what I'm left with. So I'm gonna trim some of that around the edge, just kind of tidy that up a little bit. And you know, you don't have to worry about snipping the embroidery design because you're really not gonna get your scissors that close. You're just working uh, that edge, just kind of pulling that glue back to the, to the uh, wrong side of the embroidery design. And then once you're satisfied with that, and you know, this is something I should never do on camera, right? Because we all, as embroiderers, we all fuss, don't we? We like to get everything absolutely perfect. So I'll go ahead and place this on my onesie, right? So I have my design side up, the right side of the garment is out, is up. And I'll just give that a little press first, get that wrinkle out. And then I'm going to place my large design on the shirt. And I'm going to take that Teflon pressing sheet. No, I'm, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna just use this protective paper. I can use that and place it right back on the uh, design covering it up and then I'll finger, no, I won't finger press that. I'm actually gonna apply heat. That's what I need is some nice dry heat. Remember it's as hot as my household iron can go. And um, oh, hi Marie Zeno, I see you're here. Thanks for joining me, Marie. I know Marie has done a ton of onesies in her career as a commercial embroiderer. And so I thought she might like this little cheater trick where instead of actually hooping the onesie, you could just make a patch out of the pretty embroidery design. An added bonus of that is there's no bobbin threads on the inside of the uh, onesie to scratch the baby. And you know, that that is a, a concern, right? And there are products that we often use to cover up the embroidery. But here, when you have a patch on a onesie, there's nothing to harm the little baby against the skin. So that's really a good idea. And uh, Mario, you said good for hats. Yeah, I think you're right. It would be great for hats. I don't have a hat here and I should have, but look at these cute little boy slippers that I picked up for our grandson for Christmas. I'm going to put a stag head on that, on, on each of the left and the right. Won't that be fun? Um, now let's see, somebody asked, do we find that the heat flattens the thread or the design? I haven't had that experience um, because I use the protective paper. It doesn't create an extra sheen and it hasn't, I mean, it flattens it maybe a little bit, but no more than regular application would. And then I think these uh, could benefit from maybe a big anchor, you know, for summertime fun or boating, something like that. Um, so th that's really great. Hi, Isabella. It's so nice to have you here. That's our friend from France. It's great to have you here, Isabella. 
it was about a, two years ago, I guess, we were walking Houston together right around this time. So it's really nice to have you here. If your design is not dense, will it still work or will you see your backing? Well, that's a good question because, you know, the water soluble stabilizer is going to be invisible, right? And um, this product, the patch attach, if you have a design that's open and airy, I would suggest hooping the water soluble stabilizer with tool, right? Bridal illusion tool like netting, but the very lightweight type that's used in uh, wedding veils. Uh, I would suggest hooping that with the water soluble stabilizer and then you know you remove it from the outside edges and so forth apply the patch attach and then when you iron that onto the garment that what that netting the tool gives it a little bit more body and um, make sure the netting matches the same color as the base fabric so if you put it on a black t-shirt use a black um, tool Okay, sleeves on jackets too. Great idea, Marie. Oh, and I did also, I made this sample, which is a goose down vest. You know, easy to hoop a vest, right? Because, you know, it's open and a zipper and all of that. But I don't like to penetrate all those goose down fibers. And then I don't like to have that big indentation of a circle on my goose down jacket. So this is another great application for that. Raincoats also where you don't want to have needle penetrations would definitely be. Um, oh, and Retha, it's your third day of retirement. Congratulations. I hope you're off on a great adventure. You, I'm sure you've earned it. If you're celebrating your third day of retirement, you've probably been looking forward to that for a long time. So um, you can find us here every Thursday and get more tips on embroidery. Uh, I, and I guess you're planning to do an awful lot of embroidery in your retirement, which is great. Okay, let's see, um, what other questions? So if your design is not dense, I did just respond to that. And Judy Warren, you'd like to no know scratch the baby. I know I like that too, for sure. And it, you know, easy to, um, you know, very comfortable next to the skin. So what are some of the other designs that come here? Well, I know everybody's favorite is runs with scissors. Isn't that cute? That's a really fun one. It comes and you can stitch it in any color that you want. And then we have so happy. We have multi needles. You know, I know that a lot of women who go to class like to boast that they have a multi needle machine. So they'll wear this on their shirt or, or maybe carry it on their um, bag and I heart thread. So, all of the designs that are in here, you will, once you purchase this collection, this um, kit, it comes with a download link where you can go and download all 20 of the embroidery designs. And of course it has instructions on the inside of the label on how to do everything that I just told you about. So you'll find all of the step-by-step -step instructions are there and um, super easy to do. This is a great thing that you could start stitching now as you gather your blanks, you know, you find your little slippers or your hat or your, you know, your goose down jacket so that um, you have your embroidery all ready for when you are ready to apply. So super fun, I think. I like, I love the patch kit. Some of our educators, if you've been to any of our events, boy, they have fantastic samples of the patch kit. I've seen an ostrich this large that they blew up in our software and applied that to, to a jacket back. They just, you know, it was so much easier than doing multi-hooping. It literally filled the whole jacket back so they didn't have to worry about sticky stabilizer or anything like that if they had hooped the jacket. So it's, it's a great solution for um, lots of embroidery challenges. So uh, there's a special offer this week, I think, right? Somebody gonna tell me what that is? Um, Let's see, it, yeah, the Patchmaker Kit, and it, we have a, Kayla will get the um, link up to you any minute. So it's $49.99, it comes with an, uh, 10 yards of the heavy duty water soluble, and then three yards of the patch attach, which is, you know, that'll, that'll last you a long time, three yards, because you're not hooping that, you know, you don't need that much of that. You just use as a piece that's just about 20% larger than the patch or embroidery design that you're working on. So that's um, an awful lot of fun. Let's see if there's any other questions before we sign off, because next week is um, gift number seven. We're getting closer, so we'll have more ideas next week for sure. 
And you can catch us here at one o'clock every Thursday, one o'clock central sewing time. And, and always on the blog, dzgns.com. And now I understand we're also um, simulcasting, you know, live to YouTube. So if you're a YouTube subscriber to our page on YouTube, you'll get notified of when we're going live. So you can watch here or you can watch on YouTube. So thanks for joining us today. See you next week.